Just wanted to make a quick video on the installation of these Halo 6 inch recessed lights. So first of all, you want to decide where you're going to put them. In this room, decided to put two over here and two right here. Real quick, you can either screw them in if the nail breaks or they come with a preset nail. Basically you just pound one, one, two, three, four nails in. It attaches these tracks and then you can slide this into the position that you want it and once you found the position you want it you can take a needle nose pliers and squeeze this tab shut right there but you can just squeeze that tab shut and that'll lock it to the track to keep it from sliding it has about a half inch flange here that'll fit into the drywall um, and then I'll show you how to wire it. Switch box, eventually there'll be another line coming in from the panel. It'll go to this switch box that'll have power. And then this is the line that's gonna go over here to the load, which is the light. And then this will go to the next light, which is gonna be this one right here. And then this one right here is going to go to the next light, which wraps up and around here into this one. And then this one is going to go to the last light right up top here. So that's how I'm going to rough it in. And the inspector will come and take a look at that before I wire the lights together for the final. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wire this halo light. Uh, we've got it positioned where we want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this plate, it's just a tab, and this plate comes off. And then we're gonna run, this is the one coming out, doesn't really matter, and this is the one coming in. So I'll have the one coming out here since it's a little shorter, one coming in here. So we'll go ahead and cut back the sheathing, this rubber sheathing, to about there. Okay, so for getting the sheathing off, I usually just take a utility knife, make a little cut right around where I want it to end, and then very carefully, without cutting yourself, make a cut down the length of it. Helps have a sharp blade. I'm going to change the blade out after this. It's not super sharp. You tear that stuff off and you end up with this. The inspector was just here. He said he likes to see about six inches out of the in the boxes. So six inches is about that. So I'll go ahead and cut these off out there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and strip off maybe about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. This is hard to see, but this is 12 gauge. You can also use, it's easier if you have 14 gauge coming in to these. So you can see in the box here, we've got the ground, black, which is the hot, and the white, that's your neutral, and then some instructions come out. So basically you're just gonna pop this cable into this black fitting here. There it goes. So that's how it enters. Again, this is easier with 14 gauge than 12 gauge. It's a little less thick. OK. 
And then you're just gonna insert this into the back here until it clicks. So push it in there and then go ahead and give it a pull to make sure it's really in there. So this one's locked in, nice. Okay, and then we'll do the same with our ground. You can kind of feel it click. And then we'll do the same with our black or the hot. There we go. Give them all a little tug. Those are all in there. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing with the one going out. Again, it doesn't matter in or out. This one's just going to the next light. So again, this little, this little black things, they've got a little lid. You can just pop that open. And then this, it's just gonna get clipped in there. Sometimes it's easier with the pliers. There we go. So that's gonna hold it. And then same thing. And kind of do which one's in front. So here's the white. Yeah, that's in there. Black. Actually, these neutrals, I'm just going to tuck back in there and get them out of the way. And the same with the ground. They're all in there. That one tucked in. And then the hot. Okay. Those are all in there. And we'll just kind of tuck those in. As you can see, I just kind of tucked them in on top of each other. And there you go. If you're going to get this inspected, you'd probably want to leave this open so the inspector can take a look at your wiring. Otherwise, just pop this cover back on them like that. And you can see the wires are coming in there and it's done. Ready for drywall. Just use a, put up the half inch drywall, use a roto zip to come around there. I'll try to show that in a different video. And recess lighting is installed.